I didn't think that I was gonna be making this video right now. I thought it was gonna be a couple weeks down the road, but it's coming right now. And mostly it's just because I've had a pretty big epiphany. Um, my situation's far, far from being over, um, but I wanted to let you guys know what's going on and let you guys know that I'm gonna be coming back. So that's basically what this video is, just explaining to you guys what happened, what's been happening, what to expect from me in the future, and uh, go from there. So I know, I know the big question that you guys are asking is, you know, what happened, what's, what's going on? I'm not gonna get into too much of the details, but basically what happened was, I, there was a pretty big financial problem, and I had to make, I said it in the, in the video saying a few words, I had to make, I have to make as much money as I possibly can right now. Um, long story short, I had to come up and make $10,000 within 30 days. I'm not gonna really get into the specifics on what or why that happened, um, but that's the amount. And I understand it's, it's a really big amount, um, but I've been working a lot and, and it's, that whole thing is gonna be taken care of. Um, hope by the end of this week, technically, uh, which is good. And then um, me and my mom, my mom and I's relationship never has been the best. I've never had the best relationship with either of my parents. Um, over the past couple months, it's gotten progressively worse. And recently we got into a little bit of an argument and she basically told me I was on my own which means I have to pay for school, car insurance, rent, food, phone, uh, utilities, Wi-Fi, anything involved, like anything to do with my life, I have to pay for on my own. So I basically have to come up with 25 grand before school starts so I can pay for everything, uh, pay for rent and, and everything like that. So I'm, I'm working literally as much as I can right now. Um, but there's something really good that's come from this. And I'll be honest, when my mom told me that, when she told me that I'm on my own, I gotta, you know, I'm, I'm fending for myself at this point. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I went to a really, really dark place. Um, I've never understood how you can mentally get to somewhere that's, um, that's, a, that's a bad spot. Uh, I, you know, we all have bad days. I've, I've had bad uh, mental days myself, but this was something I, I couldn't shake. Uh, usually I can just snap out of it and I, I couldn't snap out of this. So I was in a really, really dark spot for a few days. Um, like I had friends uh, asking like, the friends that were in town that said, hey, uh, do you mind if I see you? I just wanted to say hello. And I just said like, I couldn't, I couldn't talk, I couldn't see you. And there was a reason for this, but I wouldn't be able to tell you the reason for a while. Um, those people know now, but I was in such, like I, I can't express to you I've never felt that way in my life, ever. And I specifically remember the first night um, everything happened, kind of the first night my mom told me I was gonna be on my own. Um, I was tearing up like all day and I, I don't really get emotional. It's not something I do. I don't really show emotion. I don't cry like ever. And um, I called my best friend from home, Max. And I was like, listen, this has literally been the worst day of my life. I need to talk to you. So he was like, okay, like I'm just sitting by the fire, come on over. So he's sitting at the fire. Um, and when I pulled into his driveway, my eyes were like tearing up. So I literally punched myself in the leg a couple times. So I would like have no tears. Like I could just go in there, talk to him about everything that's going on and uh, just have a conversation. So I walk around to his backyard. I sit right across from him and I go to talk and I just, I start crying. I'll be honest. I just, I start crying and I like, I couldn't talk and he's never seen me like that. Like no one has ever seen me like that. So he was freaking out a little bit. He didn't know what to think of it. My throat was clenching up. I, I couldn't talk. And so when I was able to talk, um, I told him everything that was going on. I was like, I have to pay. I'm going to have to come up with this amount of money in 30 days. Uh, I gotta, I gotta pay this. And then my mom basically said I'm on my own and uh, I don't know what to do. And so we talked about it for a little bit and uh, it, it definitely helped. Uh, he said, one of the things that he said is, 
you're the only person I know that'd be able to get out of this situation. I was like, I know it sucks, but you're the only person I know that's gonna be able to get out of it. So that helped me a little bit. And then the other thing he said was, in 15 to 20 years, when we're living in your mansion, we're gonna look back on this moment and we're gonna be thankful that it happened. Or we're gonna laugh at it. And I said, yeah, this is gonna make a damn good book one day. And so after that conversation, I did a lot of thinking, a lot of, a lot of listening, and I was listening to Eric Thomas a lot, and you know, just a lot of different songs. And um, one of the things that he said in one of his speeches, Eric Thomas is a motivational speaker, if you didn't know. And one of the things he said in his speeches is that sometimes in life, God puts you through hell and just throws all kinds of stuff at you. But it's to redesign you, it's to redesign your mind. And, and one day I woke up after like a night out of driving for like hours, I woke up one day and what helped me get out of that dark place is I told myself, you're not gonna feel sorry for yourself. You can't feel bad for yourself, you can't feel sorry for yourself because you are in the situation and there's no changing it. The only thing you can do is have a positive outlook from here on out and just keep moving forward. So I looked at it as I'm at the bottom of the mountain right now. That's how I see it. I'm not at the bottom anymore, but definitely not near the top. And so I started out at the bottom of the mountain and I told myself that each day I need to take a large step or a small step up the mountain. But no matter if it's a big or small step, you still have to make a step every day. You still have to make progress at climbing that mountain. So that's how I've looked at it every single day is I have a certain goal of money that I want to make per day and I either hit that goal or I don't, but I know I have to give a hundred percent because what put me, what put me in that dark place is all my life. I've been a rock and everyone's seen me as that. Everyone's seen me as a very motivated person and a driven person. And I'm, I want to make a million dollars a year. I want to be successful. I want a big house with the cars like I'm not from anything. I'm from nothing, basically. From a broken home, lived in a terrible neighborhood. I, am, I, I have nothing that is, is going to help me except for what's happened to me in the past and what I know I don't want in the future. And so what put me in that dark place is I always thought that I was giving 100%, 110% into each day. You know, I was like, I'm doing YouTube. I'm doing good in school. Uh, I had a podcast on the side. Um, I had like a couple side hustles that I was doing to make, to make money. And, you know, I had this job and I know what I want for my career and my future. Like I'm so far ahead of the game from everyone else. And what this taught me is when I thought I was going 100%, when I thought I was doing 110% as much as I could, I wasn't. So I was basically lying to myself for years about how much I was doing and I could have been doing so much more because now that I'm in this situation, now that I have to make the money that I have to make, it's, it's really eye-opening because now that I am giving, now that I am giving, I'm not even giving 100% right now, I'm giving like 80, not even 90%, I'm probably giving 80% right now. But what I was giving in the past was like maybe 50%, maybe 50%, like on a good day. And I thought I was doing 100 and that's what broke me. That's what took me to that dark place is I thought I was doing everything so right and so perfect and I wasn't. Because I'm a human and, and I mess up and I make mistakes and it sucks. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, it sucks like hell going through this. Like, it's painful, it is. I, I'm not gonna lie to you, it sucks. Like, each day is a new day, but I get out of bed and I'm like, this is your goal for the day. All you have to do is get out of bed. You have to make that small step or you have to make that big step up the mountain, but I still have to climb. Every single day I'm climbing this mountain. As long as I don't take a step back or as long as I don't stay in that spot, then I'm good. The biggest thing that this situation has taught me is like I said, I, I know I was only doing 50% and I know what 100% looks like. I know I can get there. And I know that's what it takes if I, if I wanna make a million dollars a year, like I've always talked about. That's what it takes. It takes 100%, 110% each and every single day. And I have to get to that point. And I'm getting to that point. But listen, you guys know I'm a Christian. You guys know I believe in God. So whether you listen to this part or whether you don't, um, I need to say it because this is what I believe. I believe I was put in this situation by God on purpose. Because 
he needed to wake me up. He needed for me to open my eyes and realize that I could be doing so much more and that I wasn't maximizing my potential. I was slacking off. And even though this is gonna suck and he's putting me through hell right now, he's breaking me down so he can redesign me in the way that he wants me to actually live and what he wants me to actually do. And I'm embracing every single part of it. Like I said, I know it sucks and it looks like a huge mountain that I have to climb up in. When you look at the grand scheme of things, it seems almost impossible. But what's helped me is taking it day by day, realizing I have a goal every single day, and that I just have to make that goal every day. And maybe I come up short one day, but the next day I'm gonna go that much harder so I can, so I can make up for that loss from the day before. I can't explain to you guys the type of mental mind change that I've had in the past two and a half weeks. My mind has been reconstructed in the most insane and powerful way. I can't even begin to describe it. For the past two weeks, my mind has been absolutely racing, but completely blank at the same time. That probably makes no sense, and I understand that. You guys probably have no idea what I'm saying. But that's what it feels like. And this feeling that I have, like, that God's trying to teach me this lesson, that he's trying to put me through this so he can, so I can, so I can realize that I need to go and do way better than what I was doing. If I actually have these big goals and want to achieve these things, I can't tell you how strongly like I feel it. When I, when I listened to that Eric Thomas speech and I linked it um, on the community page, it's called Eric Thomas Adele. Listen to the whole thing uh, for the first minute and like the last minute, it's like Adele's uh, Rolling in the Deep song. Um, but in between there, in between there, it's like a four minute period. Uh, Eric Thomas talks about, um, Eric Thomas talks about how uh, golf balls used to be completely smooth. And what they found was if a golf ball is completely smooth, it can only go so far. And the ones that were like worn out a little bit, the ones that had dense cracks, uh, the ones that were messy, those ones went further. And so he explains, like I said earlier, that God puts you in these situations so that you can grow, so that you can redesign yourself, so that you can develop as a person. I'm not trying to preach to you and be a preacher or anything like that. I just, I want you to know where I'm coming from because that's my faith. That's what I believe. I'm not going to hide that from you guys. I'm never going to force you or tell you, you need to believe in God. Like, I'm never going to tell you that. I'm telling you what I believe and what I feel is happening to me in this situation. And I'm growing so much as a person. I'm so thankful that it's happening. It sucks. Like I said, it's, it's terrible. It's, it sucks so much. But I'm so thankful that I'm learning as much as I am in the short amount of time. And that sound, and that sound that I said, um, this is not gonna be up for very long, it was a 10 second sound. Um, I'll play it right now. That sound is, um, I made that sound. So if you guys didn't know what it was, a couple of you guys guessed it. Um, but what that sound was, it's a Lamborghini engine starting, and then instead of the exhaust, um, it's a lion roar. Lions have always been significant with me because I think they are the most powerful animal on the planet and I think there's a lot we can learn from them. Lions are the most powerful animal on the planet. Their tenacity is insane. And another thing, I was listening to Eric Thomas again and he talked about lions a lot too. I have liked lions before like I started listening to him, um, but even more when I started listening to him. And someone checked him one day and what I mean by that is someone went up to him and said, why are you always talking about lions? They sleep for 20 hours a day. And he said, really? And he, he, he went on to explain how, how if lions are the king of the jungle and they sleep for 20 hours a day, they're only up for four hours. Imagine what, imagine what they would do with 16 hours. Imagine how much, how much they do. Imagine how much they get done in four hours as lions, as kings of the jungle, and they sleep for 20 hours. So that's, that's uh, the new sound. You're gonna hear that at the beginning of, of videos. Um, I'm still gonna have the basic intro, um, but that sounds just synonymous with me now because, I mean, my name's Lambo. I love lions and it's just like, for me, making that sound was just like the start. It was kind of like a rev your engine, hear my roar kind of thing. And I said this in a stream a little bit ago, but one of my favorite quotes is, you fool. You thought the lion was sleeping just because he didn't roar. And I feel like that's how I've felt these past, these past couple weeks. 
is that I haven't been posting videos, you know, I haven't been roaring in a sense. But I haven't been sleeping. This is as much growing as I've done in I think my lifetime and it's happened in a two and a half week span, which is absolutely insane. And for those of you guys that are watching this video and that support me, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, especially if you've watched until this point, I, I cannot thank you guys enough. It truly means the world to me and you guys are really supportive, but just know that I'm back. My tenacity is insane right now. My drive is, I can't explain it. It's just, I know what 100% and 110% looks like and I'm willing to give that every single day. I've been working 16 hour days, getting three to six hours of sleep every single night, doing the same thing over and over and over again. I know what 100, I know what 100% looks like now. And for those of you that said you looked up to me in the past, in a way, I feel like I let you guys down because I wasn't setting a good example. But from here on out, I can promise you if you look up to me, I'm gonna set the best example that I can for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys that in order to achieve your goals, you gotta give 100%. And I'm going to show you what hundred percent looks like. I'm going to give my all into each video, into each day. So you guys and myself can be proud of that. Basically to make this video, um, to make this long video kind of condensed at the end here is the reason I, I took a break, um, is because I was put in a very bad financial situation. I had to pay back $10,000. It's a lot of money. Second reason is, um, my mom said that I'm on my own. So I have to pay for everything in my life now. <laughs> and, um, and it put me in a dark place and I had to get out of there. And I realized what it was gonna take. I now realize what it's gonna take and what I need to do every single day. And I don't want you guys, if you get one thing from this video, I don't want you to feel bad for me. Because I don't feel bad for me. I don't want anyone to feel bad for me because this is an experience that needed to happen. This is an experience that needed to happen for me. And I, my, my uncle is by far my, the person I'm closest with, the person I think the same, like we're on the same wave, like the way we think, the way we, um, just the way we think about success in life. And, and he told me, and I, I thought about this too before he said it, but it resonated even more when he said this to me is, he said in every successful person's life, there comes a rock bottom defining moment. And he said, I know this sucks, but this is your rock bottom defining moment. He said, this is the moment where you're gonna change literally everything. Your mindset's gonna change, maybe not, maybe not your body, but your mindset, the way you think about things, how you go about every single day, the way you interact with people, the way you interact with yourself, everything's gonna change from this moment. And it's just been so synonymous with me, it's stuck with me. It's, there's so many things that go through my head every single day. And, and two, there's two songs that, um, that really just have, have helped me. The first one's called T-Pain, Stoic Bill. The second one's called Big Sean, Get My Shit Together. Both of those are gonna be linked down below if you guys wanna watch those. I'll probably link a couple Eric Thomas videos that I've been talking about too. But I want you guys to know that um, I'm good. And if you guys are in a dark place, I promise you, you can get out of it. I promise you, you can. Because honestly, I didn't think, honestly, I didn't think I was gonna get out of the dark place. I didn't know, I didn't know where to start. I didn't know how I was gonna get out of there. I looked at it as, I looked at it as like 30, 35 grand that I have to make basically this summer. And I looked at it as like impossible, like, cause it seems impossible. Like I said, I was at the bottom of the mountain. I had nothing. And, um, and each, each day is a new step, but I'm climbing. I'm climbing, man. And I'm not gonna stop until I get to the top of that mountain. And when I get to the top, another one's gonna come and I'm gonna have to climb that mountain. I'm not gonna get to the top and then go back down. I'm just gonna keep climbing. The way I look at it is each day, your life is basically like a million piece puzzle. And each day you're either adding a puzzle and each day you're either adding a piece to that puzzle or you're letting that puzzle sit there. 
So that's how I looked at it, is every single day, I'm taking that step up the mountain, I'm, I'm adding a piece to the puzzle. I'm figuring it out slowly and fast at the same time. Like I said, my mind has changed so much in these two and a half weeks. But I wanted to give you guys an explanation, and I hope this helped. I, I sincerely do not want you guys to feel bad for me in any type of way. Um, like I said, this is a good thing that's happened. Like it's, it's been a really crappy and shitty thing, um, but it's, it's for the best and it, I can see that. Um, I said I was gonna get a camera and a, new, and a new computer to make the videos better. I still wanna do that. But you guys are gonna have to give me a little bit of time, um, obviously, because of everything that's going on. Uh, but no, I'm gonna do my very best to, to bring as many videos to you guys, the best quality uh, as I can. And I'm gonna try and stream as much as I can. Like, I'm giving 100% now. You, like, that was me at 50%, right? Before making this video, that was me at 50%. So imagine me at 100. <laughs> it makes me feel really good knowing what I can do now. And I hope you got a little bit of clarity on this. Hope I helped you guys out a little bit, but uh, I did want you to know I'm, I'm back and I'm going to be as good as I can, you know? Um, I'm only... After this week, I'm going to be about a third of the way done. So the 10, the initial 10,000, it's going to be taken care of. Then I just got to focus on 20. Then my internship starts up in June. Uh, while I'm going to be making videos, I'm trying to get into trading a little bit so I can make more money. And I also really like finance and trading. Um, but yeah, that's the video. That's what's happened. That's, that's the clarity for you guys. I hope... I hope that it's helped out a little bit. I'm really sorry about keeping you guys in the dark for so long. And honestly, I was going to keep you guys in the dark longer. I wasn't planning on making this video. And I don't know if I'm posting it the day I record or tomorrow. Um, it's Tuesday, if that helps. But I had to make this video because I had such an epiphany. And it resonated with me so strongly. Um, there's also um, a verse in my Instagram bio my favorite verse of all time, um, adding, like, this is also um, with the fact of how I was giving 50% and how I'm giving 100% now, is um, the verse is Proverbs 2013. And I've loved it for, for years, but it hits me now. It hits me now when I read it. And basically the verse says, thou shall not sleep, lest come to poverty. Open your eyes and you shall be cherished with bread. And basically what that's saying is, if you love sleep, poverty will come to you. You know, if you stay asleep, if, if, if you choose not to act is basically what it's saying. If you choose not to better yourself, if you, if you choose to stay in the current position that you're in, you'll end up in poverty. Whether that be financially, uh, emotionally, um, it's basically saying you're going to be poor in life. And like I said, that's, that's not just financially. That could be emotionally and spiritually. But it's, then he says... Open thine eyes and you shall be cherished with bread, as in you'll be cherished if you open your eyes, you'll get what you want. You know, you'll get money, you'll get um, love, you'll be in a better emotional or spiritual place. And so that stuck with me because until this moment, my eyes were closed, right? I thought I was doing good. I thought I was doing everything I, I, I could, then I wasn't. But now my eyes are wide open, wide open. And I know exactly what I have to do each day to make myself better, to get to a point where no one has to question, no one has to question anything. Also, none of my friends really know what's going on. There's, I've told like a couple people, a couple family members, and that's about it. This isn't something that I really wanted to make public because it sucks and it sucks to admit, but you guys deserve the truth from me. You guys deserve to know what's going on. So I want to make this video for you guys. All in all, I know it's been a long video. I've repeated myself a couple times. It's just, I am, I'm fully embracing the situation. I am. I think of it as a very positive thing. Like, yeah, there's a lot of negative to it. Like, when you look at the grand scheme of things, when, like, you're an outsider looking in, it's all negative. But if you're me, I needed this. And it's gonna help me a lot. With YouTube, my career, the future, my goals, my ambitions. So if you guys are riding with me still, thank you. Just know that I am 
Just know that you're going to be getting a lot more out of me. Like I said, you saw what 50% looks like. So imagine what 100% looks like. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ah!